Do you remember browsing through the aisles of a toy store in the mid-2000s, and then you stumble across one of these? Or perhaps one of these robots? Today we're going to be talking about the rise and fall of toy manufacturer Anki. So in 2010, Anki was founded by a guy named Boris Softman. And Boris was a really smart engineer that knew a lot about technology. But however, with the company starting in 2010, they didn't start producing toys till 2013. And their first um, product launch was the Anki Drive. It was at the Apple keynote in 2013. Later named Anki Overdrive, the Anki Drive was pretty much just a little toy that you could control with your um, phone. It was kind of like an RC car. It was pretty cool. And in 2014, they started selling toys in stores like Toys R Us, Walmart, Target, your big box retailers, pretty much. And their revenue from 2014 to 2016 was um, $684 million, which was really good for a startup company at that time. And in 2017, their biggest product came out. I present to you the Cosmo. So the Cosmo is pretty much like your modern day Amazon Alexa, but it was on wheels. Only downfalls was it couldn't get your groceries for you and it was kid friendly. And in 2018, they gave Cosmo a friend in Vector. And Vector was pretty much just another robot that Anki sold. And in the middle of 2018, they officially sold over a million robots. Which, I mean, just blows my mind. That is a lot of robots to sell. But sadly, after this article, this marks the spiral of Anki as we know it. So I'm going to talk about my three main reasons of why I think Anki failed. So the first reason I think is just the decline in toy sales in general. And it feels like every year toy sales are just dropping by less than 10%. And I mean, it's just not looking pretty for the toy industry right now. I think another big factor that pretty much just killed them was the rise of the internet and electronics in general. Now mind you, what I said probably makes absolutely no sense considering Anki was a electronic based retailer. But I mean, their software was kind of getting outdated. You had things like the Echo Dot Kids. They were definitely gaining traction. But I think the main category killer was definitely your phones, tablets, all that. There were just more widespread alternatives for a little rolling robot, you know? And my last reason for their failure is definitely the debt that they accumulated. So at the end of 2018, they were having a little bit of financial trouble. So they decided to take a $200 million loan out from Silicon Valley Bank, which is now defunct as well. And that loan was used as a collateral, which um, they couldn't pay back. So pretty much in the start of 2019, they had to declare for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection. And then unfortunately, in May of 2019, they had to file for Chapter 7 bankruptcy, which means they had to liquidate all their assets. But luckily, the brand names weren't lost as they got acquired by Digital Dream Labs. So the Overdrive, Vector, and the Cosmos still stay alive, which is pretty cool. And pretty much that's the end of the story of Anki. So yeah, guys, do you remember Anki products? If you do, leave your experiences down below how the robots were, how all their cool tech was. So that's going to wrap it up for the decline of Anki products. So hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Bye.